Mario Martinez. Both, of course, you know very well, Mario. I know from the, the you know you very well from the U.S. team. But we have a Canadian. Oh, with, just before that, we have another hometown hero. That's Pavel Muratov from Russia on the mat now. jump straight to back sweep oh, interestingly enough about Pavel um, Jiangsu European Wushu Championships in 2016 gold medal uh, Jiangsu at the Wushu World Cup 2016 uh, silver and at the University of Games 2017 at Sunchuan uh, silver well, definitely one of the highlights of the Russian team and getting all that home support as well so far what have you seen in this routine Anthony so far you can tell he's very sharp very relaxed and athletic very balanced strong as well in the legs yeah very calm and confident well of course the big question here is whether Russia can find themselves in the top three Muratov smiles at his fans and of course all the home fans here in Russia and that was just solid throughout really good highlight on that 720 just shows you the control he has in his landing well as again that that hip transition that you're talking about the strength in the legs really just the lower half of the body was Absolutely bang on. Now, the question is, can Pavel get himself into the top three? He's going to need a 9.6 at least, a 9.65, I think it is. Six two or more, so it is uh, China up top with 970, Indonesia with Akbar Nulefu 9.64, Malaysia in third with a 9.62, and that is a 9.63. Just as I say it, Russia have managed to get themselves into the top three, fully deserved. Fully deserved. Very strong 